Welcome back to NC State Dendrology. I'm coming to you in the Pisgah National Forest up at Graveyard Fields. And it's November, so the trees are pretty much leafless up here. I think the elevation is about 5,500 feet or so. Walking up to um, Upper Falls here at Graveyard Fields. And we're looking at this species that used to have had many names in the past. So it's a variety of uh, red oak. So in the past, it's been called Quercus borealis or Quercus ambigua in some names, and now is settled on Quercus rubra of our borealis. So if you look at the trunk, um, you can see that it may have suggest some ski trails, not quite as prominent as our Quercus rubra in the Piedmont, um, which is Quercus rubra of our rubra. And if we come over here, so above 5,500 feet, the form of Northern red oak changes. And so we have a more gnarly form and the leaves are still symmetrical, but a little more divided than you would expect to see with regular Northern red oak. And then the acorns are also intermediate. So remember that Quercus rubra, we described those acorns as being like a fat man wearing a beret. And the caps here are a little bit deeper and a little bit more rounded than they are in our oaks in the Piedmont, but definitely a very important species for um, wildlife. Up here in these upper elevations, we saw red squirrels when we first started our hike, and they for sure would capitalize on these, these acorns. So you can see these acorns are have a deeper cap than Quercus rubra of our rubra. Um, that they're still kind of the same, about the same size, maybe a little bit smaller, and the caps are a little bit deeper and a little bit more rounded. And again, the leaves are, you know, still symmetrical, um, still lobey, a little lobier, um, a little more deeply incised than the Quercus rubra of our rubra that we'd have in the Piedmont. But so this has been recognized as a variety of Quercus rubra. So Quercus rubra of our rubra, or I'm sorry, Quercus rubra of our borealis. So our high elevation northern red oak and also in the Phagaceae, and this is NC State Dendrology.